Hey, happy Monday to you, everybody. Welcome to a brand new week and a brand new day with a brand new episode of Five Minutes with Phil. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Why don't you let us know in the comments? We'd love to know. We're not trying to be nosy. We just, we care. <laughs> uh, did you get to go to God's house? I hope so. Uh, if not, maybe you were able to connect online. Uh, but either way, here we are today. We're going to kick off the work week for our students that are watching. We're kicking off the, uh, the, the, the school week. And uh, whatever you might be doing in your life this week, uh, there are a few things that are better than try to start our day with the Lord. And so that's why we're gathered here for five minutes with Phil. And I want to take you to a scripture in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 11, verses 24 and 25. Uh, I want to talk about um, our, our attitude as far as giving and our generosity. Uh, let me show you what I mean, okay? Proverbs 11, 24 through 25 says, Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Now, isn't that an interesting scripture? Because we, we live in a culture that would really say the opposite of this, right? I mean, our culture would say, no, 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 no. Just hoard everything for yourself. That's how you're going to that's how you're going to achieve wealth, and and uh, you know don't don't give. You just keep everything for yourself. And here the scripture kind of says the opposite. If we ourselves will be free givers, then there's a blessing that comes our way as a result of that. Now let me pause here and just say that this in no way tells us that we should be irresponsible with our uh, with our money, with our time, uh, you know, and anything that we would give of. We don't need to be irresponsible, okay? So, like, I'm not going to go home and sell the house and give it all to my church and then just sit there homeless wondering, hey, what happened to me? Uh, that doesn't make sense, right? Um, so I'm not talking about that. But what I am talking about is having a heart of generosity. There's one thing about this church that I pastor. Uh, one of our core values is to have a heart of generosity, and that goes uh, towards our generosity towards missions, our generosity towards each other, our generosity. J j period. We're we're a generous church, and. We're not the largest church, nor are we the richest, but we're, we're not the largest church in the world. But you know what? God has taken care of us because we've had that heart of generosity. Uh, when there's a need, our church has responded and God has taken care of us. And I believe he's blessed us because of that. And I, I want you to be blessed. I want you to know that really the secret to being taken care of is not by being stingy. Again, the scripture says if you're stingy, you're going to lose everything. And I think that's not just material wealth that we're talking about here. If you're stingy, there there is a uh, there's a spiritual blessing. There there is a peace of mind that you miss out on. That there is something wonderful about being used by God to meet a need. And I I don't want you to miss out on that. I, I really want to encourage you, be generous. Be ge maybe it is with your money. Uh, maybe it is with your, your time. Uh, maybe it's with whatever talent that you have. Uh, but would you be generous with that and really be deliberate in blessing other people with your generosity? And I think... In fact, as I read the scripture, there will be a refreshing, there will be a blessing, there will be something special from God for you as a result of your generosity. So 
Let's try to walk that out today. Let's see what God does, okay? Hey, we love you. Thanks for joining me. And I pray you have a great rest of the day. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? You take care. Bye-bye.